Good day everyone. We would like to welcome you to another video where we are going to be dealing with the matter of assigning pastors access to their districts, to their churches. So this is something that's um, important for the pastors now to be able to start looking at the information that ACMS um, has, which is both the membership information and the financial information, the stewardship responsibilities uh, of their members. So the first thing that we want to do is for, to make sure that the pastor that we are dealing with or um, that needs access is actually assigned as a pastor in the system. And for this, it's very simple. You come to search and uh, once you come to search, you look for uh, the, the, the pastor that uh, you are looking for. They need, first need to be a member of a church. We advise in most cases that all pastors must be a member of the conference church so that even as they return their tithe, the conferences in conferences where tithe is deducted at the conference, um, that is received at the conference level. So it will be easier if they are a member of the conference church. But that's not uh, very important. Uh, what's, what's critical is, for instance, let us look for um, our pastor here. I'm going to um, quickly do a search for our pastor. And I want you to notice something. Uh, if you click on select here, you will see the different types of members. So you have a member that is green and a pastor is blue. And a person is that uh, darker blue there, deceased in, and interest is yellow. So we need to know that the, pe the pastor has moved from being a member to be assigned as, uh, as a pastor. So in this case, we are very fortunate that uh, the pastor is already assigned as a pastor in the system. And then you would go ahead and also edit their information and make sure that their email address is also um, assigned to their record so that they are able to then um, access the system. You can even reset their password as well and share it with them, a temporary password, and then tick that box that says uh, it requires them to be able to reset their password. So that's another video that I've done already on how to give people access to to, to ACMS, we can make reference to that. All right, so the next thing that the conference needs to do is to make sure that the districts are in order. So we come under church, click on district, and as you can see here, South Botswana has set up quite a number of districts, and the district that the pastor has been set up in is Ramotse Ramo uh, district, which is here, and he's already um, assigned. But I'll just click on the, on the pencil here to show you what happens. Uh, if you were to change a pastor from a district, you'd come and delete this pastor, do a search for a pastor here, and then it will be you, they will be now assigned to this district. As you can see, this is the period where they are, this is the name of the district, and this is uh, the, the region where they are. And these are the churches. So if we wanted to add a new church, for instance, you wanted to add Haberon to this district, you just come and click Haberon here, and it will then add it to the list of churches that the pastor has access to. And once this happens, the pastor can now log in into their church and they will be able now to use the reports. There are a lot of reports that the pastor will now be able to, to get access to for each of their churches. And they can always change the church down here when they click here. They can type the name of the church that they want to go to. For instance, if they want to go to Otze, uh, SDA church, they will come here, type Otze, uh, SDA. Let's put it a little bit full so that it can come up more quickly. Uh, Otse will be here. If they click on Otse, now they can look at the membership at Otse. They can look at how much things are going there, how things are working out there, uh, which members are missing, how many baptisms are going on, and so on. A lot of information that ACMS provides for them. So this, in summary, is how a pastor uh, gets access to his churches in a district. And, um, and I think um, if it's just a one church, you can assign one church to one pastor. And that is something that the conference ACMS coordinators must be able to do. If they have any problems, they can always contact our support and we'll be able to help them with that. Thank you for watching.